Um, hi, um, I'm Jo de Baardemaker and I'm a typeface designer and independent researcher. I'm momentarily based in Antwerp. I think it depends on the project. Um, if you want to, the, to design a typeface that really resembles some tradition, that you might go back to some um, cultural or paleographic or technical traditions. Um, but on the other hand, if you want to make a contemporary interpretation of an ancient or cultural writing system, I think it's up to you to find solutions uh, for nowadays use. So you have to take different technologies into consideration and sometimes um, if you look at manuals or type specimens, some of the typefaces that have been developed back in previous years, they might have some problems or issues due to the typesetting system. So it's up to us type designers to solve this and also design uh, the glyphs or the characters um, better or more precise because in those days they couldn't make it better due to those technical uh, constraints basically. So in that sense it's really depending on the project, what you want to achieve with the design um, and, yeah, and to actually improve uh, the rendering of this, the writing system and the script um, into yeah, nowadays technologies basically. Yeah. Um, it certainly is a question of respect for the minorities in a sense that I think that um, a typeface is not necessarily um, needs to be designed for economical reasons so that billions of people can use and buy it. Obviously it would be more than welcome, I'm not saying this, but I also feel that even a script that is only used by thousands um, of, of users or of people need good quality typefaces because they also have like a a linguistic tradition that needs to be preserved and in some of the examples that I showed some of the text only exists as woodblocks or as paintings and the actual content of those literature or texts is not available so you can't actually reproduce it digitally so in that case it's both a respect for the minority in say but also like a case of like preserving um, the knowledge in, uh, the, 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 the texts have inside them from all those different cultures and I feel as well that uh, although there's so, such a number of lettering expressions, I think also in digital typefaces and those scripts need more typefaces to actually express themselves in different ways of, of design, meaning editorial but also formal, academic, um, and at this point most of these don't have a single typeface yet. So. Um, I think so, because um, the global um, relevance is that uh, not only the scripts can work together with other writing systems, or, or I mean, text can be transliterated or translated in different languages, so publication can actually be designed in more than one writing system, books, newspapers, but also dictionaries and you name it. Uh, but also the global aspect of the internet is quite important. It's only a few years now that you can type your URL uh, websites in the native script, basically, that I think also there there's some bigger picture to, to just preserving uh, the culture itself. But also there I think you need to allow the people who live there to also move on uh, with technology and not leave them just with the drawing board, so to speak. I know I'm very now cliche what I'm saying, but it's still, I think also, yeah, everybody should have like the, 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 the means uh, and all the tools to actually move on um, in nowadays uh, yeah, digital media as well. Oh, that's a good question, because I really think that you don't necessarily need to have like Latin as the main starting point. Um, I, I believe that people, from instance, who live in Tibet or live in India or live in China or live in um, Japan, they see it from their point of view because they're used to seeing and using their scripts as, as the first or, or language as the first main um, writing system. So I would, uh, I think it's more than just like non-Latin. I think it's, it's, it's yeah, multilingual might be maybe better. And then rather than having Latin, you just name the, the scripts by name, like Indian scripts that 
talk mainly about uh, the scripts that are in the mainland of India. Um, you've got the scripts from Nepal, the scripts from Tibet. Um, so in that sense, because sometimes more than one language is being used in that country uh, or that region, so it's not necessarily just one writing system that is being used. So I think it's bigger than just like the non-Latin definition of it.